Hello everyone, it's Mr. Lee, your friendly neighborhood media arts teacher in desperate need of a haircut, but trapped here at home hiding from the coronavirus. Now I know during this time, things are a little complicated. They're a little different than we anticipated this year would be, but there is a plan in place and I'm here today to tell you what the plan is for my class and also explain to you this week's assignments. Each week I'll be coming to you with a YouTube video uh, in a similar format uh, to show you what this week's assignments are going to be. Uh, let's take a look at some of the information which you will also find linked down in the description below below the video. So at the beginning of each week, as I just mentioned, you'll be getting a video like this sent to you via Remind. And at least for the first couple of weeks, I'll also be pushing it through individual emails, any text message uh, numbers that I may have for you, and also trying to push it out through Canvas. But we won't really be using Canvas to do any of our assignments. We're just gonna keep using legionmedia at gmail.com as we have in the past to turn in all the assignments. That seems to be something that's worked for us in the past, so we'll just keep using it but you will get your assignments each week through a video like this. And each week you'll be given four to five assignments. Of those four to five, you will choose two to complete. So those of you out there that have your cell phones or iPads or computers with editing software, you can continue to make videos and I will continue to give you um, those parameters and guidelines along with uh, projects that Mr. Carter and I have come up with together. Uh, and you can continue to create video content just as you did in class. However, if you don't have access to the equipment to actually make videos, there will be assignments that allow you to just do sort of more traditional pen and paper type assignments or some review assignments, but you'll understand that as we continue to talk about what assignments are going out this week. Now magnet students, those of you who are in my magnet specifically, you might see some additional work. This week uh, you won't have any additional assignments, so everybody this week will be picking two assignments from four options that I will be giving you in just a moment. So two assignments from four, and then other weeks you may see five assignments, and if you're a magnet student you may occasionally get assigned an additional magnet specific assignment. Again, assignments will include responses, written uh, responses to different YouTube videos for the next few weeks, we'll be doing voting on the Teen PSA competition. Uh, you'll be pleased to know that of the 11 videos chosen to represent Huntsville, six of them came from Lee High School. So we'll be looking at those videos and voting on them for the Teen PSA competition. All assignments have to be turned in to legionmedia at gmail.com. All assignments have to be turned in to legionmedia at gmail.com. That needed to be said twice. All those emails need your student name in the subject line. So please put your student name in the subject line. Of course, if it's a video assignment, you will be sending me a link from a YouTube video. Remember, YouTube accounts are free. If you don't have one already, you need to sign up for one so that you can upload your content there and then send me a link from YouTube. The link will be sent again to legionmedia at gmail.com. I'll be updating grades weekly. Uh, everyone should have two grades every week. If you happen to see a zero, then that means you have not turned in the assignment and you need to make sure that you do that. I'll have office hours every day from 10 to 12 and then again from one to two. So you can contact me anytime during those hours. Again, that's 10 to 12 and one to two. You can reach me via email. You can send uh, messages to my school address, dylan.lee at hsv-k12.org. Or you can contact me at legionmedia at gmail.com. Or if you wanna message me directly through Remind, you can do that as well. There's a possibility that at some point during this process, we'll be doing some sort of video conference. One of your assignments may be an optional video conference, and if you take part in that, that'll get you one of your required grades for the week. More details about that will come as those things present themselves. Also, maybe an opportunity to get some bonus points to take part in some of those conferences. If we do conferences, they'll be done using Google Meet or Google Hangout, so you will need a Gmail or Google account 
to do that. So if you don't have a Google account, you might want to set that up already. Other teachers will also be using Google Meet and Hangouts to perform their conferences as well. So you need to go ahead and get a Google account if you don't already have one. If you are not in the Remind, go ahead and sign up for the Remind today. And if you will, just simply text uh, that at keyword to the number on your screen now for your individual class. You don't have to sign up for all of them. Obviously, you should just sign up for the class that you are in. And Remind is going to be the number one tool that I'm going to be using to talk with you throughout this distance e-learning experience. Now let's talk about the assignments for this week. So, again, every week you'll see a video, something like this, that'll explain what your assignments will be for that week. I'll explain all of the assignment options, and again, you will choose two. If you're a magnet student, you may be instructed to do an additional assignment, but again, the video will make that very clear. This week, magnet students, you only need to pick two of the four assignments that I'm about to explain. The first assignment is voting in the teenpsa.org competition. Linked below are all of the videos in the South region, and we're gonna start this week by voting for the South region videos. And as you can see, there are six videos in the South region, all of which are about 30 seconds. If you'll watch those videos, and then click the link to the Survey Monkey ballot, and you'll see the ballot sheet here. You'll pick your favorite, and you'll pick a second choice as well. And then if you scroll down, you'll see at the bottom, there's a place for your school. Lee High School is what you need to type in here, of course. And then below that is a place for comments. And any comment will do, but you must leave a comment in order to get credit for this assignment. The comment on the example, which again is linked below on this example is, I enjoyed the music that was used in the video on bullying. That's just a simple comment that shows me that you paid attention to the video. You'll take a screenshot and send that to me on email. Again, all emails must go to legionmedia at gmail.com. And that's it, that's the assignment. Once I receive that screenshot, you'll get your 100 points for that assignment for the week. The next video option is skill building. Skill building is just a way to keep your skills in video production, video making sharp with a few simple easy tips. Now I'm trying to get away from tips that require specific equipment. So we're gonna watch this video from Peter McKinnon. I don't know if you follow Peter McKinnon, but he's an excellent videographer on YouTube, very popular, millions and millions of followers, makes a very good living doing nothing but making YouTube videos. This video by Peter McKinnon, he'll give you five tips to make your videos better. Now, he gives you these five tips to make your videos better without having to have any kind of specialized equipment. They're just simply uh, tips and tricks and things to keep in mind when you're making videos. After you've watched the video, you'll notice that there are some questions below that you will need to answer and send to me via email. Questions must be answered completely and specifically in the email in order to get your weekly credit. Questions are, which of the five techniques suggested in the video do you struggle with the most? That's the first question. So which of these five techniques or tips or tricks have you struggled with in the past or you've never even thought about? And then give an example of a video that you've done in the past where it would have been good if you had thought about taking that specific technique into consideration. For instance, maybe you had a video in the past that had terrible lighting. And had you thought about doing something special with lighting, your video would have been much better. You need to recount what video that was and sort of talk to me about that situation. The next question, which of the five techniques suggested in this video do you feel like you've mastered? Maybe there's some of you out there that are excellent using sound effects and music for your videos. That's one of the suggested tips. And if that's the case, you'll give me a specific example of a previous project where you successfully used that technique. And again, once you've completed these questions, the answers will be sent to legionmedia at gmail.com. Please remember to include your name in the subject line. The third and fourth assignment option for this week go together. And you'll notice in the links below that it looks very familiar to what we would normally do in class. It is a pre-production form, that is the first part, and then there is a completed vlog. That is the second part. Do not do the pre-production form unless you intend on doing a vlog. If you're not going to do the vlog, then you have to do the first two assignments listed below. But if you are gonna do the vlog, then the pre-production form is the first part of your assignment, and the finished vlog itself is the second part of your assignment. 
the pre-production form is pretty standard. It asks for your name and your YouTube channel and gives you the details of the production assignment, which we'll get to in a moment. The pre-production form is going to ask you to come up with at least two questions that you're going to ask your friend or family member that you interview. Remember, these questions have to be related to the coronavirus pandemic or the social distancing you've been experiencing over the last few weeks or the shelter at home order that went into place on Saturday. Every vlog that you do, as a matter of fact, just about any video you make is going to need some sort of gimmick. And gimmick is just something that will entice people to watch your video. So something unique or something interesting. Oftentimes gimmicks are in the thumbnail. It says you won't believe what happens when or uh, 10 big secrets or some outrageous challenge. I list some gimmicks that are commonly featured in YouTube videos, but at the bottom you also have space to choose your own. So you have to have at least one gimmick, but you can also use multiple gimmicks in your video. In this example, for instance, we're going to collaborate with a friend for a segment of our vlog using FaceTime, and we're also going to open up some Amazon packages we got from a little online shopping spree in our vlog, and then we're also going to make some brownies. So we're going to click those three things and we're also going to describe it in the next question. Then you're going to list the equipment that you use, the app that you use to edit, the typical things I ask you in a pre-production video, and of course submit the form. Now let's look at the vlog assignment in a little more detail. Now remember this is due at the end of the week if you choose to do this assignment. And if it is not turned in by the end of the week, a zero will go in now the following week. This week, the vlog topic is going to be coronavirus 2020 and how it's affected your life. Obviously, it's affected all of our lives in pretty significant ways, which is why this lesson is coming to you via YouTube and not in person. We want you to document your experience of being home and away from school. This is a unique time due to coronavirus. Explain how you and your family are dealing with school and work closures. How are you spending your time? How are you managing your boredom? The requirements are that you record video clips on three different days. So we don't just see what happens one day, we see you multiple days during this week. So you have to record three different days. And in those recordings, you're gonna summarize what you did that day, kind of like a diary or a journal entry. The next requirement is that you interview a family member or a friend about their experiences dealing with coronavirus as well. Obviously, please don't leave the house to interview your friend. You can do that using FaceTime or any other uh, teleconferencing app like Zoom or Google Hangout or Meet. The next requirement is B-roll, of course. Every good vlog and almost every good video is going to require some sort of B-roll to cut away to. Even this video that I'm presenting to you today has B-roll that I can cut away to. So while you're talking about how you're spending your day, we also want to see how you're spending your day. So show us that in your B-roll. I shouldn't really have to remind you of this, but you should only use classroom appropriate music and language. Remember to use music that is licensed for it. You don't have access to your usual resources since you're not at your computer workstations at school. You can't get into epidemic sound and you can't get into audio blocks. A quick YouTube search will reveal hundreds of thousands of license free songs. Just make sure you read the description below the video. Make sure that they don't ask for anything specific like a credit listing in the description of your video. Your final video needs to only be two minutes. We're keeping these vlog videos pretty short. And once they're uploaded to YouTube, remember to send them to legionmedia at gmail.com, including your name in the subject line. And that's it. Those are your assignments for this week. And I've presented to you how we're sort of gonna deal with this e-learning as the year continues. There may be some changes here and there. Expect that the primary method of communication is gonna be remind. So if you've not signed up for that, you need to sign up for it. The information again is below in the description, as is all of the information that I've gone over in this video. I'm back with one final note before we close out the video. If you are in Carter's class and you want to opt into the radio play assignment that he sent out through the group me, that excuses you from these assignments if, if you have me and Carter in our B1 class. Otherwise, you need to do the assignments as explained in the video. Everybody stay safe and stay healthy. We'll talk to you next week.